Tony, there were a couple of questions about the plot of the last uh, season of Scandal. <laughs> and so I have to visit that a little bit. And um, I thought you guys did a great job on dealing with the whole issue of sexual harassment and what is consent and what isn't. And it sort of ended on a kind of very positive note, not as dark as the last season. How does it feel not to be president anymore? I'm very upset about it. <laughs> um, look, first of all, the decision, all decisions about whatever happens in a Shonda Rhimes show, there's only one yes, thought. So all decisions, that. and she gets all the credit. Um, it, uh, I'm, well, I'm sorry, the question was, what is the it question, like for, uh, no, first, president? You, you the whole, how do those two the, things The whole them? issue with Liv, I mean, did I in any way violate Yeah, it? I thought that was a very beautiful, yeah. See, Carrie and I were talking about it the other day, Carrie Washington. They, they, Chandra wrote this really beautiful scene. It was very simple uh, between me and uh, you know Fitz and Olivia, who have, for those of you who are not avid Scandal fans, <laughs> I'm not holding it against you, but you know, it, we've had this long, tortured relationship where I was president of the United States and she was my lover and I was married. And it was a, it was a mess. And we'd never been able to find our way together for long. And uh, toward the end, there's a rapprochement between us. And, um, uh, you know, we're working together. And it seems sort of as their hope for, you know, people kind of want them to get together. Anyway, this scene was a point where Fitz had, had there was a, this issue had come up. And she was working on a case, of, uh, you know, involved, involving, you know, s sexual abuse. And Fitz said to her, he said, you know, did I ever, I just need to know from you, did I cross a boundary? Did I cross a line? And I thought that was so amazing because I was a man in power. I was president of the United States. This is some years ago when their affair had started. I, in fact, I wasn't even president. I was a candidate for president of the United States and she was one of the people running my campaign. But, you know, and we had an affair and I was married. And um, I asked her, did I, what I was asking her was, did I abuse my power and the power of my position? Uh, did I take advantage of you? You know, and she was taken aback by the question and said, no, you didn't. I, I was 100% in. I was a 50% partner in that, and we'd made that decision together. But I thought the kind of thing I was talking about a minute ago at the times of men's meeting, which I think is so positive of men asking themselves these questions, um, I thought it was a beautiful way to do it because you could easily say that Fitz was um, absolutely abusing his power. And, and I've heard that more than once from maybe not fans. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I, I thought Shonda, again, typically, you know, takes what's a mainstream entertainment and inject something really dead on uh, in, in terms of social commentary. So what's it like with Scandal Over? Um, it's good. I mean, you know, it's, it's nice to be, to not be able to do different things. It's, it's sad because uh, it was a beautiful experience, but like all beautiful experiences, things come to an end. I was very grateful that uh, she ended the show in a purposeful way. Um, a year ago, she called us all up, meaning the cast, and said, I want to talk to you guys. I've decided to end the show after next year. The network would like it to continue, but I really have always seen this as having a definitive end, and um, I'm an, I'm, I can't tell you what's going to happen, but I'm going to bring it to an end. And so we had a whole year to kind of process, and she was very thoughtful about um, how she and her team of writers brought this story home. Uh, and I, I personally, I thought they did a great job of it. I felt that the ending was quite true to the characters and satisfying, and that doesn't always happen. You know, with, with television shows, sometimes people want to keep making the money and you know, keep it going as long as it can and they kind of peter out. Uh, and I was very grateful that this one didn't, didn't do that. Um, and you know, as I was saying to Anita, the, the saddest part is separating from the people because it really is an extraordinary group. Well, I want to thank you both for coming today. It's always a pleasure to have you as a guest and as you on the faculty. And um, it's great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks everyone.